morning, everybody. AJ here on Tech Tips Game 2 on Twitter, and this is Editor VR in Unity. It's in the experimental build. It is available to the public, but it's not in the official release of Unity because it's a little buggy. It's still in development, um, and it's quite a pain to get installed. Um, so if you want to try it, I'm going to provide all of the links um, for you to get going with it. Um, but uh, I wanted to make this video just to uh, show you a little gotcha that uh, that prevented me from jumping in and having a good time in here until I figured out what was going on. Um, so let's just uh, walk through the interface a little bit and then I'll, I'll show you what the trouble was I was having. Um, so this is pretty cool. I've got the, uh, in the uh, Oculus Touch controllers going here. This also works with Steam VR. In both cases, it kind of works the same way. You've got the Unity icon at the bottom of your wrist um, and when you select it, you can bring up the the uh, uh, menu uh, that includes both workspaces uh, and the tools that Unity provides. They've given us one by default so far. I'm sure they're going to be creating a bunch more of these before this thing releases. Um, but in the meantime, we've got all the uh, workspaces are basically the equivalent of the 2D window um, from regular scene views. Um, and so I've got the hierarchy here, for example, and I if I select one of the cubes, it's that guy. You can see it's got a bunch of children that are indented. So this works very much like the 2D hierarchy. Um, we're, uh, we're not going to spend too much time with this, but you can see you can uh, move these menus, you can resize them, um, and then of course if you want them out of the way, you can close them down. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit more time with the uh, Create Primitive tool because that one's more fun. So I'm going to select Create Primitive, I'm going to select Circle, and then I'm going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to try a cylinder, and then a capsule. You can see I've done quite a bit of this already. Um, now this tool is a lot of fun, um, but it's also um, caused me some trouble as I was first getting into this interface and getting used to it. Um, so I'm going to show you what the problem was. Here is what I found myself doing. Um, when I first got into this. I was trying to figure out, first of all, how to free up this hand, because both hands are supposed to have these breakouts firing out of them, right? But my left hand has this menu on it. How do I get rid of that? Um, and after a while, I realized, well, even though I've got the menu here, I can still kind of point it at this CP icon, which I found out later stands for Create Primitive. So this is actually the toggle to turn this primitive menu on and off and you have to use the hand that has the primitive menu attached to it in order to do that which is a little bit cumbersome so you can see I've got it turned off turn it back on and then when I go to turn it off again I have to figure out how to aim at the button without having my wraycast there so it's kind of difficult um, to get used to but once you've got the hang of that um, it's much easier. The, uh, the other aspect of that that you really want to watch out for when you're first getting in here is um, when you have a, a tool set up on one of your wrists, like this Create Primitive tool, um, if it's on, you may uh, forget that it's on and you might try and do something else that's unrelated to it um, by accident and you end up using the tool instead. I, I did this a lot when I first got in here. So I had the Create Primitive tool on and then I saw, oh, I want to select that cube. So I go to select it, and whoops, I drew a new one. Whoops, I drew a new one. I did a lot of that before I re even realized that this guy was here. Um, so it's really important to understand that even though the, the UI to select these uh, tool toggles is a little bit cumbersome to use, very important to remember when you have them on and when you have them off because... Whatever, whenever this is on, it'll take over the functionality of whatever hand it's on. Um, so that, for example, if I turn this on, I can't select anything anymore with this hand. I have to turn off, and then I can grab anything I want with my hand. Um, so once I figured that out, the, everything became a lot easier in here, and I started to get used to this interface pretty quickly. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's still a little buggy. Um, but I recommend trying it out, especially if you have touch controllers or the HTC Vive controllers. You, you can't miss out on this because it's so much fun to create stuff in Unity in VR. Um, not, just, not just create builds in VR, but be able to create scenes in VR while you're there. It's a lot of fun. Um, so, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helps you get started in Editor VR. Uh, and I want to wrap up by letting you know that 
community doesn't just provide these workspaces and these tools, they also provide the ability for us to create our own. And so I actually have been spending this weekend trying that out. I created a tool of my own, uh, but I'm gonna create a separate video to show you guys what I made and to walk you through the process of, of creating your own VR tools. Um, so that's coming up in the next video.